Frances Buzzard was a janitor at Bell Elementary School and all of the kids adored her. But this adorable old lady had a secret that she kept hidden from everyone at work. Little did she know that this secret would surface and when it did, her face would be flushing red. The moment they called her name, she got really worried. They had ordered her to appear in front of the assembly, but she couldn't shake off the anxious feeling she had in the pit of her stomach. Mrs. Buzzard opened the door. The sight of everyone filled her with dread. She couldn't help but wonder if they had figured out her deep, dark secret. Frances Buzzard was 77 years old at the time, but she was still capable of doing her job as a janitor at Bell Elementary School. Besides, the children around her always managed to keep her upbeat. She absolutely loved being around them, but something in her past was about to come back to haunt her. One day, school principal Amanda Mays decided to do a little digging into Buzzard's past. She felt bad about meddling in someone's personal life, but she had to do it in order for her plan to work. But if you dig for dirt, you're going to find dirt, right? Principal Mary's heart sank when she learned something about Buzzard that would alter the janitor's future forever. Mary knew she had to do something about Buzzard's secret. There was no other choice. So she came up with a plan to inform the entire school about what she had discovered. Meanwhile, Buzzard had no idea this was happening behind her back, and in no time she would end up being confronted about her past in front of the whole school. Then, one day, Mays summoned all 200 students into the assembly hall. She wanted them to witness what was about to happen, but while the children were calm and quiet, the principal could barely keep what she had discovered to herself a second longer. Buzzard had been scrubbing the school cafeteria and polishing floors all day, but then the loudspeaker came to life and she was ordered to the assembly hall. She wasn't sure about what was going to happen, but she felt a knot in the pit of her stomach. Whenever she was called over a loudspeaker in the past, it was often related to bad news, so she was nervous as she approached the assembly hall's closed doors. She had no idea what was on the other side, but she knew it wasn't good. She realized she hadn't been doing her job as well as she used to, so the thought of going into that assembly hall filled with students terrified her, and she still wasn't sure what she had done to merit this form of torture. She wasn't sure if there was a mess that they wanted her to clean up, or if one of her fellow janitors had filed a complaint against her. Was she getting fired? She prepared herself for a worst-case scenario, but she had an inkling as to why they summoned her. She opened the door slowly, and all eyes were focused on her. Her mouth dried up and her palms got sweaty almost immediately. Then she took a deep breath and braced herself for a major scolding. But why were the children there? Would they actually fire her or lecture her in front of her beloved kids? Buzzard figured that if she was going to get the boot, the principal should have called her into the office, not to an assembly hall full of children, and then the reason why she was there became clear when the kids started singing. Her heart sank for a moment when she realized they had discovered her secret. Out of the blue, dozens of children started singing Happy Birthday, which left Buzzard completely stunned. Her birthday was still a week away, but she had told no one. So how did they even know the date of her birth? More importantly, who had decided to plan the party? It wasn't May's idea to throw a surprise birthday party. It was the student's idea, but the principal fully supported it since Buzzard had been such a hardworking employee that was loved by everyone at the school. It's why she started digging into her past to find out more about her. But her date of birth wasn't the only thing that May discovered. Buzzard had been keeping a secret all along. No one had ever thrown her a birthday party before in her life. So when the principal learned about this, she planned the perfect party to commemorate all the other birthdays she had missed. She ordered personalized cupcakes and helped the students create a slideshow that would put a smile on the janitor's face. But why didn't they celebrate it on the gun that the principal and the students could have waited until her actual birthday to throw her a surprise party, but they knew she would be out, so they celebrated it a week early. And Buzzard was seriously surprised, but the surprises didn't end with the party. Buzzard was draped with a happy birthday sash. She also had a tiara placed on her head, and she was asked to sit in a chair in the middle of the room. It's as if she had been made queen of the school, and for a moment she was, but one surprise truly made her cry tears of joy. Buzzard got teary-eyed and really emotional when she sat down and watched the slideshow presentation the kids had made for her. The students had photoshopped her into major historical moments like Woodstock, and the moon landing, but no one understood why this was her very first birthday party. And then it became clear. Buzzard's parents had been very poor, and so they couldn't afford to throw her a major birthday party. This meant that they couldn't celebrate Christmas parties either, but they did give her fruits and nuts whenever there was extra money. Buzzard had grown up in the head of Cole Fork Hollow in Cabin Creek, West Virginia. She told Charleston Gazette Mail that there was only one childhood party she could recall. They had me one, but it was so icy and cold that nobody came, she said and it would be decades before another party came along. Most children would have been bitter about their parents not being able to throw a birthday bash every year, but Buzzard didn't resent her parents. She understood why her family couldn't give her what she wanted. Her father had spent some time in the armed forces and later worked in timber, 
but eventually he couldn't work anymore because he suffered from a heart condition and asthma, which is why the family was so poor. But she never complained once in seven decades. For 77 years, Buzzard had never celebrated her birthday. Her parents taught her to be thankful for all of the things she had and not to make a big deal over the things she couldn't have. But everyone at the school felt she definitely earned a big blowout birthday bash full of sweet treats, drinks, presents, and lots of love. So this lady is twice our age, but she does three times the work. She's something else. Everybody just loves her. You can't get her to stop, school counselor Chalina McCoy told the Charleston Gazette Mail. But she wasn't the only one who was impressed. Her admirable work ethic came second only to her kind and loving personality, which earned her the admiration and appreciation from the school staff as well as the students. But how did she really feel about her birthday party after all? Well, she told the Charleston Gazette Mail, it's a great party, the biggest I've ever known. It took 77 years for Buzzard to have her first official birthday party, but it was worth the wait. She'll never forget the day that everyone at Bell Elementary School came together as a family to show their appreciation for all the amazing work that she did.